what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys uh, taking some time to check the video out. Today guys, we're gonna give you a little seminar on slip sinkers, everything you need to know about them, why they're important as far as the uh, weight on them. And uh, I mean, it's sort of what I wanna do is I'm gonna break down the scenarios as far as uh, what weight size you need to use under different conditions because it's a pretty complex topic. So I'm gonna sort of give you guys a, a good basis to foundation to build on. Um, especially if you're having problem catching fish on Texas rigs. So we'll get into that. Real quick, guys, just want to remind you, tomorrow is the last day of our May Solar Bat sunglass sale. If you buy a pair of my Signature Series RB2 Series sunglasses, um, you get them at 25% off. And um, also, if you buy a pair, you get a, a, a promo code to get 50% off anything on the Solar Bat website. So I'll put the link in the description, and uh, you guys can get you a pair of these really good Solar Bat glasses. I think you really like them here. Okay guys, a little bit here as far as the, the videos, if you guys have been following the channel last week or so, you guys know I moved and um, I got all my, all my tackle is over, my uh, mother-in-law has got a big barn, so I, all my tackle's over in the barn while I'm trying to get my tackle shop set up. So we're in the process of moving, it's probably gonna take me, you know, two or three weeks to get that set up. So in the meantime, I don't have a lot of my props to when I talk about lures, so, just gonna have to hear me talk about it. So I think it's still gonna still gonna get something out, but we'll, we'll get back into the regular tackle room routine before too much longer here. Okay guys, slip sinkers, let's get into this. Now for the most part, I've got slip sinkers in my box that range anywhere between a 32nd of an ounce all the way up to like um, an ounce and a half. I don't, use any, I don't use any of the two ounce sinkers like some of those guys do, ounce and a half. I've never seen any situation where I couldn't penetrate something with an ounce and a half sinker. So I've got um, 32nd, I've got 16th, 8th, 3 16 quarter, 5 16 3 8 um, half ounce, 3 quarters, 1 ounce, and an ounce and a half. So a lot of different range there. So I'm going to sort of give you guys the scenario moving through about when I use what. Okay, we'll start light and we'll go heavy here. The 32nd ounce sinkers I got um, are pretty much relegated to soft stick baits, you know, like a Zoom Zlinky, Cinco, something like that. Um, sometimes when I want a super, super sl slow fall and soft stick bait, um, but maybe the wind's blowing a little bit more, maybe you want to get a little bit deeper, that's when sometimes I'll put the 32nd ounce on there. It doesn't weigh much at all on there. And that's sort of the same with the 16th. Um, when I'm using a 16th, it's pretty much the same thing. I got the, those are pretty much for like the soft plastic, slow falling, uh, soft plastic stick baits. Really don't use the the uh, th the 132nd and the 16th ounce for much more than that. Now, when you start getting up to an eighth of an ounce, then I start it starts getting a little bit more uh, versatile with that. I use an eighth of an ounce sinker a lot, guys. I think an eighth of an ounce sinker is a really good size to use on a lot of different soft plastics. Um, you know, say for example, if I'm pitching a you know a worm or a tube or sometimes a creature bait, and I've got situations where the water's off colored and the fish are really shallow, um, that's when I'll put the, uh, the eighth ounce sinker on there. It, it works really good with that. You know, and sometimes if I'm swimming a worm, say if I'm swimming a uh, 10 inch worm or 12 inch worm, you know, in different water columns, that's when the eighth ounce sinker goes on there. But, um, but those are situations for super shallow, usually off colored water situations. Now the 3 sixteenths is, I use a 3 sixteenths a lot. When you're talking about 3 sixteenths, you're starting to get now in a, in a weight size that will penetrate a little bit. An eighth ounce and lighter doesn't do much penetration, but what you can actually pitch and flip a 3 sixteenths ounce on a lot of different lures. Most of the time on a 3 sixteenths, I'm pitching or flipping a worm, a tube, something like that. Once in a while, a small creature bait like that Zoom Z Hog Jr., smaller baits like that. A 3 16 ounce sinker, I really like the way it falls. As a matter of fact, guys, I think as far as how the fish react to a slip sinker, I've probably caught more bass on a 3 16 ounce size than about any size out there. I, I really like the way a bait falls with that. Now the quarter ounce a little bit more, again, same type of lures, worms, creature baits, uh, you know, tubes, all that type of stuff. But when I'm using a quarter ounce, I'm usually dealing with maybe a little bit more wind or a little bit thicker cover. Um, some some cover that's a little bit maybe gnarlier to get into where I still, I need a little bit of weight, but I still want the slow fall. 
quarter ounce is a very popular slip, slip sinker for most anglers out there. But but I, if you gave me the choice between a three sixteenths and a quarter, I'd probably go with the three sixteenths ounce more. Um, quarter ounce, like I said, it's a pretty versatile way. It'll work in a lot of different situations. Now, when you start getting above quarter ounce, when you start getting into the five sixteenths ounce weight, that is when I'm, that's the that's when I'm really focusing on pitching and flipping with this stuff or casting a bigger worm like in deeper water. As far as casting, if I'm fishing like deep points or brush piles, I'll use a 5 16 ounce, fish a lot between that 10 to 20 foot zone, especially if the wind's blowing. But a 5 16 is my workhorse pitching and flipping size. It's probably my favorite. When, when I'm talking about um, pitching and flipping in flooded bushes and lay downs around docks, all that type of stuff, that is my go-to because it allows me uh, pretty much, you know, pretty good penetration, yet it doesn't fall like a rock and it matches up and pairs up good with a lot of different baits. Now on a 5 16 I'm using a, usually a full-size creature bait, like a Zoom, you know, Z-Craw, Z-Hog, Brush Hog, something like that. Um, I don't use a 5 16 usually on a tube or anything like that or a worm when I'm pitching and flipping because it falls really fast and unless I'm fishing, you know, deep brush, you know, like the, the water's flooded 10 foot high, then I might go to something like that. Next up there is a 3 8 um, 3 8 3 8 ounce sinker, and I'll, well, I'll talk, let me talk hand in hand about a 3 8 and a half because they sort of go in hand in hand. A 3 8 and a half is very similar. Um, a lot of guys, I'm gonna say that a 3 8 ounce sinker is probably the most popular sinker I see guys using for flipping and pitching pretty versatile for me personally I think it falls a little bit fast in some situations but when I'm using a 3 8 ounce or a half ounce I'm starting to get into thicker and gnarlier cover I'm talking about flooded trees flooded bushes uh, maybe you know thick lay downs maybe some type of flipping grass with it a little bit um, those are the situations I'm using the the five or the, the uh, three eighths and a half ounce. Now, another situation where I'll use that is if those fish are in a little bit sparser cover, but they want a faster fall. Say, for example, if I'm pitching a worm or a creature bait around clean targets like the edge of the stumps or the edge of uh, boat dock pilings, and the water's warm and maybe a little bit on the clear side, uh, that's when I'll go to a little bit heavier sinker with that. The next ones, the, the three quarter ounce and the half ounce and the half ounce and a half, the, which is the heaviest sinkers I have in my box, those are all straight pitching and flipping, heavy cover, usually matted vegetation. If I've got a three sixteen, if, if I got a, a three quarter ounce or a one ounce or a ounce and a quarter, I'm usually pitching it in, in matted vegetation. Milfoil, hydrilla, you know, gator grass, you know, hyacinths. Some, something matted on the surface like that. Now, occasionally, I will use a three-quarter ounce on a creature bait if I'm flipping uh, deep flooded cover. Again, like that flooded cover that's in eight or ten feet of water, sometimes I'll do that. But most of the time, uh, those heavy ones are just, you know, strictly for matted vegetation. And when you get up in the, over an ounce, like an ounce and a, ounce and a half, that is strictly for matted vegetation. I don't use it for any other cover but that. Um, colors on sinkers a little bit guys uh, I'll just this this is a weight video but I'll talk a little bit about colors I like to match the sinker color as close as I can to the bait if I'm using a green pumpkin or watermelon type soft plastic I like to go with a, a brown or green pumpkin sinker and a black soft plastic with a black one so anyway guys that's sort of a foundation with it there's a lot more details that goes within that as far as conditions uh, we could do a whole other video on just conditions on when to use what, but that'll give you sort of a starting point. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk later.